don't get up. I'm a little stiff today. Then again, I'm a little stiff every day. <laughs> Actually, I twisted my neck playing croak A. But it wasn't hurting the way I thought it should, so I called my Cairo Hactor. Of course, some people look elsewhere for their pain. Like the old man in tonight's terror tale. His idea of an antibiotic was to marry a younger woman. <laughs> ah, I call this plasma play strung along. What's the matter? I thought I left my dog here, Cuckoo. You left your dog here? But Clyde, can't you read? This is a no barking zone. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, kiddo. I bet the cops collared him. Well, we better get to the pound. Hope you had a good time, kids. And remember, wherever you may go, Whatever you may seek, we'll all get together same time next week. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Especially. How about taking a little more off the top? Nobody asked you, Coco. You've been carving that same head now for two months. You'll make those cheekbones any higher. No, oh, damn it. Don't say it. The last thing I want to hear from you is I told you so. Coco been bothering you again? Coco bothering me? You kidding? I bought you your mail. Why don't you come for a swim? I want to take you away from your friend. Lucy went home. Oh, for Christ's sakes, Joe, you're going to be jealous of my female friends now, too? I'm sorry. I guess I'm just depressed. Well, of course you're depressed. You sit in this dark little room all day talking to yourself. It's not healthy. Did you take your medication today? I feel fine, really. And what color would you like me to wear to your funeral? If you want another heart attack, go ahead. Don't be angry with me, kiddo. Oh, I'm not angry with you. I'm just frustrated. You've got to take better care of yourself. She's magnificent, isn't she, Coco? She's a real piece of work, all right.
What is it? You won't believe it. This is, this is incredible. They want me for a tribute to the golden age of television. What? Yes, for a television special. They want me to do one of the old Coco and Clyde routines. Now, wait a minute. Do you think you're up for this? I mean, they're not giving you much notice. Up to it? Well, I could do it in my sleep. Ellie, this is what I need. I'm, I'm going out of my head. I mean, who knows? This could be the beginning of a comeback. Well, now, let's not blow it out of proportion. It's just a TV show. But who knows? Maybe it'll get you out of the house. Oh, yeah, there's, well, there's, there's so much to do. I, there's a ton of people to call. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe instead of doing one of the old routines, I do something new. Now, wait a minute. I don't want you pushing yourself. I won't let you do this if it makes you sick again. Sick? But I told you already. I haven't felt this good in years. Well, maybe we should have Dr. Lippman check you out just in case. But why? I'm on enough medication already. All right, no more doctors. Could we at least get someone to help you, though? Would you do that for me? Mm. I don't know anybody anymore. Well, maybe I'll call the trades tomorrow and place a classified. Classifieds, huh? You never know who you're going to get from those. Why don't I talk to my acting teacher? He knows so many people. I'm sure he knows someone who could help you. Uh -huh. What's that all about? I don't know. I guess I feel inspired. Inspired, eh? Mm -hmm. Joseph's workshop. I can't tell you how excited I am. I grew up on this stuff as a kid. Didn't we all? Oh, wow. <laughs> Joseph, David's here. Well, that's funny. He knew you were coming. Why don't you wait down here and I'll go see if I can find him. Okay, thanks. Don't touch him. You don't know where he's been. Who is that? Who do you want it to be? How the hell did you do that? That's for me to know and you to find out. Hey, Joseph, come on out. There's a guy out here spying on us. Now, Coco, you should try being a little nicer to the young man. You don't want to scare him away, do you? I don't frighten that easy, Mr. Renfield. For starters, it's not Mr. Renfield. It's Joseph, OK? Yes, sir. This is a real honor for me. Did Ellen tell you kissing my ass was part of the job? Uh, no, sir. Actually, that was my idea. <laughs> so, how do you know Ellen? Well, she takes acting class from a friend of mine. And do you know each other very well? Uh, actually, we've never met. I had to stop taking the class a little while ago. Oh. Well. In that case, let's get to the good stuff. Have you worked with marionettes before? Not really. But I have done some work in animatronics, though. Uh, mechanical puppets. You're using remote controls and uh, computer circuits, that sort of thing. Actually, I've got some great pictures here I'd love to show you. No, no, no. Puppets aren't machines. They're an extension of the puppeteer. They're a part of you, and you become part of them. Now, if that's a problem for you, maybe you shouldn't do it. Mr. Renfield, Joseph, I want to learn. That's why I'm here. And now I've got the chance to learn the craft from 